I learned how to code in one day. I was so tired of doing those tutorials that take 10 hours and I decided, screw it. I'm going to learn coding in the most unethical, disruptive way and I'm going to do it in one day. And it worked. I went from not knowing Python on a Monday to actually web scraping Target and taking the information on a Tuesday. Sorry, Target. So this is the process on how to learn to code in one day. I had to learn Python because I needed some prices of products for a project I was doing. And I needed these prices soon. I had a deadline, a hard deadline. My deadline was 24 hours. And because of this, I knew I had to really cut down on my learning time. So the first step you need to do is get a hard deadline and stick to it. Let me tell you, being under time pressure makes you code like you have never before. Ask any coder. The minute you're under pressure, it's like the code gods bless you with lightning fast typing and you become so much more productive. Once you have a deadline, the next step is know your end goal. I knew by the end of the 24 hour deadline, I needed a working web scraper. Because once you understand that, you can tackle the big issue, learning to actually code. Yep, at this stage, I didn't know Python, not a bite. So I did what anyone else would do. I searched one hour Python tutorial on YouTube. I just needed the basics and I thought a one hour tutorial will work. It should show me how to set up Python and use it briefly. And that is the only tutorial I did. And I'm glad because for programming languages, spending hours on tutorials where they show you, this is how you create a list. This is how you create a class actually teaches you nothing. So you know how to create a list, which is great. But the real question is why should you create a list? And when should you create a list? And you only learn the context around this when you actually do projects. So once you do a simple beginner's tutorial, the next step is launch yourself into many projects. Remember, we only have 24 hours here. So I searched easy Python projects with source code, and there were a lot of small projects to choose from. I wanted to do around three to five projects because I needed to actually start using Python practically. One was a number guessing game, the other was developing a Twitter bot. And the good thing is that all the blogs had the source code, so I could go line by line and understand what was happening and even run it myself. In a few hours, my knowledge went from the input function is where a user can capture information to I need to get the user's name, so I need an input function here. That is a lot more useful. After doing a few simple projects, I was ready to do a mini project similar to my goal, web scraping, which is the next step. You need to do a project quite similar to your goal. So I found a tutorial on how to scrape IMDB. Surprisingly, after doing those easy projects, doing this tutorial wasn't too bad. Again, I had the source code and I ran it line by line and just understood the functions. Once you're comfortable with this, you can now begin on your final script to tackle your main goal. And this is where I started to actually create my Python script to scrape products off Target's website. I knew I was on a deadline with only a few hours left. So I used the same Python template in the web scraping tutorial I did previously. Because of this, I was able to figure out quite quickly what needed to be done. And because I knew the clock was ticking, I just went for it. No reservations, no anxiety at all. I did struggle at times with understanding the website structure and certain functions. I actually got really good at finding answers when I was stuck just by doing a Google search. So in under 24 hours, I created a full-blown web scraping Python script. And all you need is a ridiculous deadline, a crystal clear goal, and maybe some determination, maybe a lot of it. 